World Cup fever has not only gripped the attention of the nation, but the attention of all students here at Cardiff Met's King Koi campus. So let's go and find out what they have to say about the tournament. Let's go! The 2023 Motorsport UK Ravenel Welsh Rally Championship is set to commence once again at the end of March. The seven event series will take place across the length and breadth of the beautiful Welsh countryside. You mentioned it there, now is the time of mm. year to build some momentum going into the postseason, going into now the playoffs where if you put one foot wrong, you're out. Yeah. That's it, you can't get your hands on that trophy at the Stone X Stadium. But we're gonna ask ourselves quickly, what actually happened last time out when these two sides met? Well, here is a quick match report from the last time Cardiff Met played Loughborough up in the north. It's been absolutely amazing. You know, it's been such an advert for university sport at this level to see the amount of elite athletes and elite performers on display here today. It's just fantastic. I am joined in studio now with the first victors of today. I'm pleased to say both Ed and Kelsey have led our Cardiff Met cricket team to victories against the University of Bath. Guys, you must be thrilled with that. Um, Dan Jones has the third most rushing yards of any other player in the playoffs currently now as things stand which for a quarterback is very impressive to be up there with the other running backs but first the University Centre of Cricket Excellence in Cardiff recently shocked Glamorgan Cricket in a thrilling encounter that went the distance and could have gone any of three ways heading into the final over. Champions tonight. Absolutely, and it's going to be it's going to be a team game this evening. But within that team are some great individuals. And I've done a bit of homework, Dave. No, I know I've had time around an actual degree to to <laughs> actually look at some game footage. It's surprising, really. But no, I've I've managed to pick apart a, a bit of play here from Cardiff Met from early in the season. We're highlighting Bradley, Roderick Evans, and Bing even his fish. His back line behind him are deep as well so they can run onto the ball with plenty of pace as well without getting in front and giving away the penalty and look at this perfectly placed kick he's gone to the corner into the little bit of space we've just highlighted and out on the wing Jake Thomas you'll see it now he's going to collect that ball and he's going to He's going to use his footwork. He's going to dot down in the corner. And that, my friend, is the Bingo Ivanisevic <laughs> effect of how you get from one end of the pitch to the other. I mean, we've only got and got a legend of Welsh rugby to come and join us up in, in a much drier gantry to what you've probably <laughs> been experiencing so far in this game, Phil Steele. Steely, what's it like to be watching a game like this? Have you been to many Bucks Super Rugby matchups before? I've been to a few, yeah, I've been to a few. But George, wasn't the result exactly the squad was looking for today, but how special was it to be back in front of the massive crowd at the Principality today? Oh, yeah, amazing. You know, um, been a rough all year, a uh, rough few years. Say, really. Excellent. I'm joined now by University of Warwick table tennis captain for the men's team in that trophy final, Jamie Watkin Reese. How does it feel to have just won on Bucks Big Wednesday? It feels absolutely incredible, and I'm so proud of my team. Jamie, I'm so proud of you as well. The pride is like shining off. I can feel the energy, I can feel the buzz. Well, I mean, talking of, of, of big things to notice in the league so far this season, reigning league champions in normal season. Durham University, they find themselves much lower down the table than they probably would like right now. Is this something for them to be concerned about? And, and what do you make of this? Um, it's really difficult. Cold, windy, give us a, give us a lowdown. Well, Meg, um, as you can probably see from the, uh, the steam coming out of my mouth, it's, it's rather chilly at Cardiff Arms Park. What do you do when you lose a legend inside your own rugby club? It's a question that many of us never want to ask, but for Cardiff Rugby, they had to do exactly that recently after the unfortunate passing of Peter Thomas. And Rhys Bloomberg has been telling us about how they intend to pay homage to this Cardiff Rugby legend. And if you'd like to follow us, make sure you check out our YouTube channel where you can actually watch this podcast. You can watch along, you can see our faces. If you've just been listening to us this whole time, where are you? Why aren't you here? And if you have been just watching us on YouTube, we are available on podcast platforms. We're available on Google Podcasts. We're available on Amazon Music. We're available on Spotify and also Apple Podcasts. Thank you for joining us. It's been another episode of Transatlantic Touchdown. I can't wait to see you again next week. Goodbye.